Hi, Virgos. So this is for Virgos who are dealing with the cancer for the month of September 2023. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com. I got crystal sage incense, personal readings, and much more. Let's get it, Virgos. Coming in with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, the Four of Wands and the Four of Cups. Some of you guys might be feeling really much so, very much so unstable at the moment. Definitely between you and your cancer, there is a little bit of trust issues and a little bit of fear that's going on between the two of you guys. But you guys are defending yourself and you're also protecting your energy as well with the Seven of Wands. When I clarify the Queen of Pentacles, you guys might have somebody in the energy with the King of Swords in reverse, the Temperance card and the World card. Maybe you guys have somebody in the energy who is either really crazy, psychopath type of energy, and it's just kind of fucking you and your cancer up a little bit from what I'm seeing here. Like, this is not the best person to have around you guys, especially with the King of Swords. I don't trust the energy at all. Anybody that comes in as the King of Swords in reverse, that just lets me know you're not mentally well, you're not stable. The things that you're saying is fucked up, and it's, it's, it's causing this Queen of Pentacles very much so perhaps a little bit of fear. And it's pissing off the King of Pentacles too. And it's slowing him down from being able to be with the Queen of Pentacles. But in the end, you guys will be just fine. However, though, it is a lot of detrimental pain on the eight, on the Ten of Swords. If that King of Swords is from the past, Virgos, that you guys was dealing with in the past, and they're trying to reappear back into your life now, after you were already in a relationship with somebody else, this Cancer may not be able to hold up that connection. But... I did upload a song for you guys on my community uh, for the highs and lows. Like no matter where you, no, no matter what happens, I'm going to be there for you no matter what. So that could end up actually taking place too. Like it, it, like you guys are going to be invincible. Like no matter who comes into the energy, no matter who comes and tries to try you guys, you guys are still going to be strong enough like a power couple to be side by side. When one's fucked up, the other one's fucked up. When you guys are good, you guys are both good. You know what I mean? But you guys are still together side by side with each other anyway. It's fight, fighting and defending too. You guys might just feel like you don't really know what to do with the two of swords, nine of swords, four of wands. You just feel like things are just flipped upside down. But in the end, you guys need to just come to the realization that whoever it is that you guys are dealing with at this time regarding the king of swords... Whether that be one of your exes or simply the cancer acting like this between you guys and they're just acting crazy. It's saying that you guys are going to be leaving this person behind. You guys don't want nothing to do with it. Now, if some of you guys are in a relationship with a cancer and you guys are choosing to break up because some of you guys are not able to hold each other down on a financial level... It's just saying that you guys are going to be walking away from this energy. But then eventually you guys will come back to each other too. Because it's the Six of Cups or the Ace of Swords. You cannot handle it. You walked away from this marriage. Some of you guys may be married to a Cancer and you're just like walking away from this marriage. You're sad. You're heartbroken. You're hurt. You walked away. Now you're depressed. You're missing them. And then you finally go back to them. Okay? You cannot. You cannot handle it. You, you try to walk away. But you miss them so much that you're still going to go back to them anyway. And then it's like the Cancer's just really confused at this time. They're having a lot of visions and a lot of dreams from what I'm seeing. And it's kind of messing them up. And as much as they want to release it and let it go, they still love you guys very much with the Ace of Cups. They might be sitting down talking to one of their friends about how they want to make this connection work because they love you very much with the Sun Energy. So they're making the decision that they want to come towards you, but they need to know that they have to take a proper approach. I also see that this King of Cups is going to be paying a witch, a warlock, a wizard, somebody who is of the magician energy to maybe do some sort of spell work. They need to be careful with their magic because judgment is there. That if you do any kind of spell work to make this person come running back to you, uh, it might just come back and fuck you up because you guys got judgment on the full card. Like this cancers, like I, you guys always got cancers doing magic on you. Cancers do the most magic. Like honestly, <laughs> cancer, cancers are fucking crazy. They always doing the most magic. It's so crazy. Okay, so this guy here, this King of Wands magician card, they're gonna start doing these love spells on you guys, like making you guys go back to them, making you run back to them. Judgment card, Knight of Wands, and it's like they want you to go back to them. They want you to. But some of you guys are just like, no, you don't really want to go back to them. You want to kind of just stay single, mind your own business, and move forward. Just be careful when you guys are on the road as well, Virgos. I recommend that you guys always be safe and fine on the road. The energy is not there, but I can see something is wrong on the Page of Cups. Or just something, there's just, I see just something's wrong. Whatever it is, just be careful, okay? Just always be careful when you're on the road. If you can avoid it, avoid it, all right? And the Nine of Pentacles. I think it's just going to piss you guys off so much because you don't have time for the deceptive shit. 
And you don't have time for people playing with your emotions or forcing you to be in something you don't want to be in. Some of you guys also have children with this person. But, you know, they are going to reach out to you anyway and they're going to speak to you and be like, hey, are you good? But it's like kind of crazy too, Virgo. It's kind of fucked up. Uh, I don't know. I don't even want to say it. I don't even want to put it out there. But if something does end up happening, like something fucked up happens while you guys are on the road, it's saying that this person's going to message you while you're on the road, but something fucked up happened. So maybe they're going to be able to get the message and you're going to have to tell them, hey, can you come get me? Can you come scoop me up? This is what happened. Help me out. Okay, it's not good. It's not good. And it's I don't feel good, Virgos. My voice is fucked up. I don't feel good. I feel kind of, I kind of feel scared. Okay, so whatever that is, just always be safe on the roads. Look both ways. Don't, don't stop at the stop signs. Don't run no yellow lights. Don't run no fucking red lights. Red, green, and yellow. Okay, be wise. Be careful. Look both ways, no matter what. Uh, three of Pentacles, Six of Wands. So they're going to try and get you guys back, obviously, right? Maybe they have to try and bind you guys in some sort of way. I'm telling you, Virgo, something fucked up is about to happen. There's somebody here has some fucked up bitches in their energy. Like, for real. Like, for real, for real. There's some fucked up bitches in the energy. And I don't understand what's going on here. There's a few of them, actually. And they're all, like, fucked up. They're all fucked up for real. Like, Queen of Wands is in reverse. Maybe this Cancer had also some people from the past that they were in a relationship with before. And it was so the worst time of their life. Maybe it was very toxic and very abusive. And they thought they was going to end up getting married to them. Maybe this person was with them for a good six years. And then your Cancer ended up ending this relationship. And they chose to be with you. And they want to be with you. Or the, Yeah, you see that? Maybe the, can the Cancer has somebody that is not supposed to be around. Maybe the Cancer also has a very jealous Queen of Wands in their energy. But this Queen of Wands is about to get all the way fucked up like when I say she's about to get fucked up for real she's gonna get it she's gonna fucking get it Virgos she's gonna fucking get it Cancers if you guys wanna know if that bitch is gonna fucking get it she's gonna fucking get it that Queen of Wands that one person who was a hater on you jealous of you who tried to steal your man who tried to fucking be all giddy giddy to your face and all kiki whatever the fuck what I want you to know they're gonna fucking catch it they, they're going to catch all the smoke. The smoke is coming directly for them. And you're not going to look at them. You're going to be like, oh, that's what you're going through, bitch? Oh, looks like karma found your stupid ass. And that's because karma is here. And you're calling judgment on it. And you're going to let let the energy play out. It is what it is. Somebody did something they should never have done. And maybe if this person tried to do some sort of spell to break you and this person up, it's saying, yeah, that's coming for them. Not only is it going to come for them, it's going to come and fuck them up so badly with the tower card to the... To the, to the fucking motherfucker, <laughs> devil car, and you guys are the ace of pentacles. So, I didn't even see that, that's crazy. Uh, ace of pentacles, de uh, eight of wands, so expect communication. They're coming back for you. Things are going to start picking up a lot more faster. And expect, so expect communication, expect fast and rapid communication. Some of you guys might have to have moved on, but it looks like they're going to have to come back. I do feel like two Virgos, if anybody tried to mess with your money, your spirit guys are coming to fuck them up, for real. You're not worried, you're the Empress upright, you're taking your things and you're just going to keep moving forward. Between you and your Cancer, it looks like some of you guys might have to jump into Hermit for a little while, or you just feel like it. This, they're saying, look, don't be scared of nothing. Don't feel scared of nothing. They're saying, you saw that, you saw exactly what you saw. Somebody here is going to be seeing like a bunch of spirits and you guys are going to be like, ah, with your per per peripheral vision. <laughs> They're saying, yeah, you saw that, <laughs> but you're not worried about it because you're the nine of wands. You've been through enough darkness in your life. You guys also have a neighbor here who's watching you guys all the time. Your neighbor, he fucking watches you guys. He watches the whole entire block. Maybe it's like neighborhood watch, but there is a neighborhood. There is a neighbor who watches everything. And he keeps tabs of everything, Virgos. He keeps tabs of everything. It's the hermit card, nine of wands. Somebody's always looking out their window. And they are definitely somebody who may always call the police too. The, the anonymous phone calls. Yeah, they always see the fuck shit. So because of that, they always uh, do call the police and all that stuff. I'm going to switch up the energy real quickly, Virgos. It looks like you guys had a few people who was attacking you guys, you and your relationship with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse to the Knight of Pentacles. Somebody here tried to dis distraught, destroy your relationship, but it's saying that maybe they... Maybe they tried to, maybe they, this person tried to destroy your relationship or try and slow your relationship down or try and fuck you guys' money up both ways. 
Uh, so that way neither of you guys can have money. You and your cancer. And it's saying here, yeah, they got it. They did it. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. But they're saying you're going to keep working no matter what. Ten of Swords. I do believe that Ten of Swords is coming in for the enemy. For what they've just done to you. Because you and your cancer with the Queen of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles. You guys are fighting back. You're fighting back and you're defending yourself. So soon enough, you guys will be just fine. This King of Swords is going to be all the way fucked up. Because you guys have like... This king of swords is coming in. Like, he's pissed off because you guys are defending yourself and fighting back. It could be something online. Maybe some of you guys run your own fucking channels in some sort of way. And they're saying, yo, this person's going to get all the way fucked up because the angels are working behind the scene on the temperance card to the world card to fuck this king of swords up for trying to fucking curse you guys. I do see that this person's talking a lot of shit. They're using their sword energy to also cor uh, uh, cord you, cord the fuck, to curse you. And they're trying to ruin your relationship with the four of wands in reverse, two of swords and the nine of swords. Some of you guys are like, what the fuck is going on? How come you and your, your man or your girl are all the way fucked up? It's because somebody here looks like they're attacking your relationship. If you got to cut ties, cut ties between you and your enemy, Virgos. You guys know exactly who this king of swords is. You know, at least you'll be able to figure it out soon enough, that's for sure. So just be careful, all right? Because it looks like even though you guys might want to like break up between you and your cancer, don't let this, don't let the third party, don't let the person who's attacking you guys with spell work to make that happen. Don't let them ruin your relationship because they're saying that you guys may end up wanting to walk away from your marriage, but then again, you guys go back and realize what's going on and then you go back to your marriage. Uh, definitely the cancer is feeling it and they're trying to find ways on how to uh, uh, unfuck themselves. You guys look like you're strong enough or intuitive enough that you're receiving the messages that you need, like visually speaking, like visual, like you guys are seeing visions and you're going to figure it out. And once you guys release it and let it go, you guys are back to normal again, then your love is back to being fine again. All right. So now this person's going back and contacting a warlock to do some sort of spell work on you guys. They're saying even the warlock, the magician, even them, if they go out of their way to do any kind of spell work on you and your relationship, them two are also going to get fucked up. They will they will also catch that fucking energy, the fuck. And yeah, judgment's already placed on it. You've done this way too many times. Somebody here continues to light black candles on you guys to ruin your relationship and to end your relationship. Maybe somebody here did some sort of like ending spell and they had to go and they had to try and bury it in some sort of way to ruin it and to end it. So that way you guys don't have a relationship with this person anymore. But they're saying, nah, don't worry. You'll overcome it. And things are going to go back to normal sun card. And you guys are going to probably be able to figure it out with the seven of pentacles, nine of pentacles, six of swords, and the page of cups. Yeah, that energy is going to come and fuck that person up really badly. Then you guys got another person in the energy here too. You guys got too many people trying to mess with you guys' marriage or mess with your relationship. This is fucked up. With the devil card to the six of wands. All right, so it's like you guys are seeing everything for what it is. The wheel will turn in your favor. However, though, Queen of Wands, Queen of Wands to the Tower card. If there was a Queen of Wands who was trying to mess with your relation, your marriage or your relationship between you and your Cancer, it's saying that they're gonna be binded for life. Like they're gonna be binded with the devil for life for coming up against your relationship. Maybe this female wants your man. You know what I mean? Maybe they want to be with your man so badly that they feel like they have to destroy or ruin your marriage or your relationships. That way they can come and scoop them in. But they're saying, yeah, don't worry about it. You're the queen of cups. They can't have what doesn't belong to them. No magic, no spell work is going to stop you from being able to be the, with the one that you meant to be with. Six of wands, you win anyway. The wheel of fortune, you're going to probably call this bitch out and be like, yo, bitch, why the fuck are you fucking with me and my relationship for? And... And then that's when she's going to fall back. And then she's going to be like, my life is being, yeah, because you did it too many times. Now it's, it's, it's almost like, yeah, it's like, you know, people want to do fucking sending shit back, whatever the fuck what. Just because you sent it the fuck back, it doesn't mean it's going to get sent back right away. Yo, you know what I mean? <laughs> Sometimes spirit's going to fucking carry a fucking entire bubble. Let that bubble fill the fuck up. And at the right moment, they go, go pop the fucking bubble and then when it pops the fucking bubble all that dumb fucking energy falls on the queen of wands and that's why it becomes a fucking tower you gotta, you gotta know <laughs> you gotta know how energy works eight of wands ace of pentacles knight of swords three of wands and the empress energy you guys are fine you and your relationship are going to go back to being together again there may have been some sort of separation but i think you guys in the end will come to the realization that this person's going to get fucked up it could be also another virgo too <sighs> At the bottom of the deck, you guys got the Four of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, and the Page of Swords. That's crazy. 
So you guys are, are you guys, just know that you and your relationship between you and your cancer are just fine. You guys are obviously protected. The person who continues to do the spying and the bullshit, it's like they're stuck. Somebody here keeps watching you guys outside your home. Somebody here is stalking you guys and also watching you guys outside your home. This is really fucking weird energy. It's like somebody's watching you sleep. What the fuck do you mean by somebody's watching you sleep? I don't want to get into weird shit. I'm tired of this weird fucking shit. <laughs> this fucking... I'm even... I'm I'm fucking exhausted from it. You guys are going through it, but I'm exhausted from it. The fuck? Like, spirits out, you know, make changes in your life. If this is weird shit, make changes in your life. You have the control to make changes. Strength card, justice card, everything works out in your favor. I also see that maybe somebody's going to end up going to jail too if they keep watching you outside your house. You guys are going to get a restraining order on them. They're obviously going to be hurt and heartbroken because they're like, I just love you. I only wanted to be with you. I didn't think you were actually going to call the police on me. Well, that's what ended up happening. They called your neighbor, called the fucking police, okay, because they saw the page of swords watching you outside your home through the fucking window, and they called the police, and they got caught on sight, so they get taken away. Like, for real, I'm not even fucking playing. Like, this is not this is not a joke. It's like the four of swords, the justice card, now they gotta go to jail, now they gotta go through trial, now they gotta go through the jurisdiction system trying to testify on why they was spying on you outside your home. But they can't say nothing because it was already, there's a witness here, it's a hermit card. He's, he, this hermit is always gonna be good. He's gonna always be good because he's, he's neighborhood watch. He watches everything. Anyways, cancer's hurt, they're heartbroken, they're upset, they're in their feelings, they're trying to figure things out, try to, but the relationship's done and over with, like, get over it already, and this is not good, maybe it was like a setup that they were trying to set you guys up, but you guys are safe and protected, and they're obviously going to end up becoming very scared with the death card, <sighs> somebody here might suffer from, like, sleepwalking and stuff like that, just take care of yourself, if you need to get the help, just go see a doctor, Virgos, if you guys suffer from things like this, alright, maybe this person suffers from that type of stuff, I don't know. How the fuck am I supposed to know? You guys know whose energy that belongs to. So just place it where it needs to be. With the five of wands to the six of pentacles, yeah, there's going to be a, probably a big fight over it too. And maybe this person's going to try and start some sort of fight with you guys. But you guys, like the police will come back all over again. Like the police looks like they're already involved in the situation. You guys are always going to be protected no matter what. Um, I do believe also, Virgos, you guys might be dealing with a three-party situation too. The energy shifted all of a sudden. You guys might be dealing with a three-party situation because your cancer might be so arrogant and so snobby that they feel like they can have and they can get anybody that they want. And they might be very attractive themselves, but that's great. Good for you. I'm glad that you feel like you're attractive. But do you have a good heart, though? That's really what it comes down to. You can be as good-looking as you possibly are on the outside, but then you got the ugliest fucking heart in the world. The fuck you mean? doesn't mean shit. How you choose to treat people is exactly how people are going to perceive you to be a beautiful person. And then you, they can and then they can say, oh yeah, you're beautiful from the inside and out because you not only look good, but you carry yourself with dignity, integrity, and you have morals, and you know not to disrespect people, and you're humble enough. But to be a snobby ass bitch like the Nine of Cups, this is fucked up for me. I, I Even me, I'm getting angry. Like you guys can sense my emotions and my feelings and my anger and my happiness on every fucking in 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 in, in like in the cards so it's like mm, all right <sighs> crying out loud some of you guys are going to be ending up with a with a new cancer or a new person coming in with the emperor card and it is what it is, Virgos. You guys are going to sneak away from this situation and letting it go. You're releasing it and letting it go. You guys may have purchased a reading from some sort of tarot reader. You guys have pull, probably pulled your own cards or you guys just got your own intuition. And it's saying that, yeah, you guys were dealing with somebody who put you in a three-part situation. And you guys are going to end up seeing some sort of text message coming in from maybe an Aquarius or a Taurus or a Capricorn. And that's going to let you guys know on why you guys don't want to be in this relationship anymore. You guys obviously reached your Ace of Wands. The Spirit gives you the power with the Ace of Wands to the Nine of Wands to defend yourself, to protect yourself, to do what you guys need to do. But you guys are going to see something that you know that you were not meant to see. And he's going to be coming in from another person. And then once you guys do that, it's, it's time to fuck shit up. And the crazy thing about it is, is that you guys are the priestesses. Yeah. Everyone's going to fucking catch it. Thanks, cuties. Bye.